It is a little over the top for me to wear chains and say America's on the road to serfdom. Many Americans won't even know what I'm talking about. You know, however, because you watch this show, you know that it's the title of this important book written by Nobel Prize winner F.A. Hayek. At a time when socialism was popular, Hayek explained it leads to stagnation and poverty. And he said the most important change which extensive government control produces is a psychological change in the character of the people. It teaches people to be helpless, turns us into serfs. Serfs were peasants who lived in medieval times, worked the land, but could never prosper because the land and most everything was controlled by the aristocracy, basically the government of the time. The rulers kept people dependent. Now, I'm not going to argue that today's politicians want to make us dependent, most of them anyway. The welfare states to believe in it after its failure in the Soviet Union in Cuba, North Korea, at the post office, everywhere, to still believe that this time central planning will work. That takes some willful blindness. Of course, my president's a smart guy. I didn't believe he would be so willfully blind until I saw his latest pitch. It's called The Life of Julia. It's a slideshow featured on the Obama-Biden website. Julia's a little girl who gets a head start from the federal Head Start program. Then at 17, federal money raises her test scores. In college, she gets free surgery, thanks to the government, and as a young worker, free birth control. When she has a child, he has a public school with better facilities and great teachers, and so on, through retirement when Social Security allows Julia to retire and volunteer at a community garden. Isn't government great? Well, no, it's not great. A life of handouts sucks the spirit out of people. It makes us serfs. If we all lived Julia's life, it would not be good for America, even if that slideshow were accurate. And that's what creeps me out. This advertisement on the president's own website is not accurate. It ignores obvious truths. For example, three-year-old Julia will not get a Head Start from the Head Start program. The government's own research found that Despite spending $20,000 per child, the program does not help kids. The government will raise Julia's SAT scores. There's no evidence for that either. Government spending on education is tripled, but test scores are flat. In college, Julia may get nice perks, like this pool subsidized by your federal tax dollars. When Julia gets her free contraceptives and knee surgery, taxpayers will pay for that too. And assuming Obamacare is like Canadian health care, she'll have to wait almost a year before she gets her surgery. Julia's son will not find many great teachers at his government school, and the government monopoly won't allow him other choices. And finally, Julia probably won't be able to retire because Social Security and Medicare are bankrupt, utterly unsustainable. And she'll have trouble finding any job by then because government regulations will have further killed job growth. Give me a break. Do the politicians live in a fantasy world? Our $16 trillion debt keeps growing. Every taxpayer's share is now more than $100,000. This big government will leave Julia passive and miserable. We've got to get off this road. It is indeed the road to serfdom. That's our show. Thanks for watching.